Hello my viewers, just came uh, to finish up on a job we started uh, about last week. What we did was we came in here and uh, pulled out an old ream two ton system and went back with a York 15 sear heat pump. This is a AHE air handler with the X13. This job it was a little different because we are working uh, a guy who's does a lot of home repairs and he wanted to try and save himself some money and do the duct work himself because all the supplies under here were pretty shot. It's actually got a duct board trunk line. But he did a great job. I mean, look at this guys. I mean he really spent his time because he knew we are, we pride ourselves uh, in perfection. So he knew we, he did a great job though. Look how nice these are. You got all the, the whole trunk line sealed up and all these flex lines uh, strapped up nicely. He put me lights under there. He put some lights over there. Back over here as well. So, I mean, he did a great walk through. Uh, this is fun. So, all these boots, all these boots weren't insulated. So, he did a good job with those. He got me some lights over here. And we had to build that new little supply duct there. Yeah. Up under here. Um, so running the static check right now, setting the airspeed. Looks like we're running it right about 0.5. Is my average there? Uh, so let's go over here and see. Here's our air handler, uh, 24B, medium high, number 4 speed, 0.5, it was, uh, it's about perfect. I like to run my CFM a little higher on units like this, keep the duct temp up. Um, also, if you guys remember my video about my little duct probe, so I made a couple modifications here. turn this one. This was my wet bulb. Uh, what I did was I put both of them in one. So I'm going to stick this through and uh, dry bulb on one and the wet bulb on the other one. So I've already got it wet and I got my other little this is just going to be my supply temp. Even though this one's a TXV I don't really need wet bulb. I've already got it charged perfect. I'm gonna put these in there and see how they work. The so first problem is my leads really aren't long enough. Wet bulb reading. It's in the supply. This is wet bulb.
it's almost 100%. This one just came out of my truck. It seems like it's really slow acting. Still showing high temps there. Like these, they're fast acting. That's my drive bulb. Here's my return again, 68.2 dry, 61.6 wet. So here's my return again, 68.2 dry, 61.6 wet. So I don't know what's going on with this guy here. Here's my little piece there. So he's pretty accurate. It was almost 100%. So was that at 53.9.6 wet. Final reading on the return here. So, I'm gonna run some numbers and see. Uh, I think that split's low because it's pretty humid inside the house there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we're right at right at two amps, two forty. Here's my condenser. Let's put my to ground. Mosquitoes are biting me out here. 